Hello and welcome back to Jurassic World 2 and where we left off. Um, we had just kind of got our place sorted with some Mosasaur stuff and our park was kind of looking like it was being beginning to be successful. Uh, and then we also got some Velociraptors in and we also have started making an Indominus Rex. And as you will see, the Indominus Rex is ready to go. Now, a few things have changed. You'll notice that we've got an extra pool here. So in the time that I was making the Indominus Rex, I realized if I make another Mosasaur, then we're gonna make a load of money because they're like 2,500 each. Now I made another Mosasaur and we we're making loads of money. And then my Mosasaur died over here. He was over a hundred years old. This game goes Fast when you when you're going at that speed to try and make money, it goes fast. So like, our Mosasaur died. We're making a new one. Problem is we need money for that. But once the Indominus Rex comes in, we'll make more money. So in I'm glad I made that Mosasaur. Otherwise, I I wouldn't be making money right now. So it's just been kind of like a trying to catch up. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna airlift this guy into here before we do that. I'm just going to get rid of all this forest and we're going to then plan out where everything is going to go. Flipping epic costs a lot to get rid of forest. Oh my goodness. Just rinsed through like 200 grand. Okay, that's not ideal. But uh, it's now ready, I guess. So let's speed this up so you can shoot along over here. And Dr. Wu's going to talk. Magnificent. I'm going to have to look at it from this I've taken angle. the best traits from a number of species and optimized them. Now they live and breathe... Truly magnificent. <laughs> One can only imagine how this animal would have fared all those millions of you. years ago. <laughs> oh, look at him flopping all over the place. combined with modern scientific engineering, as only we can. As only I can. It's perfection. Uh, I agree to disagree. Right, okay, so we've got the Indominus done. Hey, why oh. don't we work together on this one? We want to get our guest count up. Is that cool? Great. Now that I've done my part by telling you, you can get to doing yours. Partner, huh? <laughs> Do you know the true meaning of success? <laughs> I don't, <laughs> but increasing our park rating is probably a decent first step. People think science created the dinosaurs. E wrong. What created them was money. A whole boatload of it. And now those dinosaurs should be generating cash money for us. That's called ROI. Return on investment. It's time to maximize profits and make bank. Get that balance as high as it'll go. I call it greed if you want. I call it nature. Okay, so they've, they've had their little chat. So I think this is the end game mission. Uh, it's very similar to other end game missions. So let's pause this. Look at this Indominus. I will say the uh, the model detail is really nice on these um, on these dinosaurs. All of them look really good. Um, they've obviously spent a lot of time on them. I like the little spikes on its uh, on his elbows. It's quite cool. Okay, what's what's wrong? What's wrong with this place then? We're gonna have enough area. That'll be fine. Water is over here. Open space is fine. Forest and prey is all he needs. Okay, so we'll put forest here. Uh, we just took away forest. It's kind of a waste of money, but oh well. Forest here. I don't know how much he needs, but that should hopefully be enough. And then... We'll put a carnival feeder here. And a live prey feeder here. And I think that's all this Indominus will need. So let's speed up. See how much forest is enough for us. I don't think that's going to be enough from how much it's going up. <clears throat> it's enough water. That's good. 
You know what? It might just tick over the forest. We might be alright, actually. Oh my goodness, he's really pacing it, isn't he? Yeah, basically, yeah, he's there with the forest. Let's slow it down now. Have a look at this bad boy. Eating some some meat in front of all the guests. Loving it. Okay, so we have got the Indominus down. We've 1,500 guests with, uh, with a comfort rating of 90%. Done. We've, we've been quite good at getting the comfort rating up first. Um, total dinosaur species, we need two more dinosaur species. We might be able to even just get that here, but we could also might be able to get something up here to go with the Brontosaurus. Um, we do want the, what's it called, Dreadnoughtus, but, uh, Dreadnoughtus? I don't even think that's what it's called. What's it called? Let's have a look real quick. Begins with D. I went past it. Yeah, Dreadnoughtus. There you go. I did get it right. So we do want that, but I think if we want to save free mill, we're gonna to have to uh, we're gonna to have to probably save our money a little bit in order to get that. But um, we've already got a Mosasaur ready to go. We just need to get two mill together. How has the Indominus affected money? It's actually gone down the money situation, which makes me think that oh, you're joking. You are joke. I guarantee this is going to hit a tornado and it's going to hit near the Indominus. I guarantee it. I just realised I haven't set up the Ranger to check in on him. Let's get this get this started. Storm's happening. There we go. It's not near the Indominus. It's on the freaking Velociraptors. So Velociraptors are, uh, well I'm surprised they're not flying through the air with a tornado right next to them. We have to get these guys down quick. Uh, I meant to click speed up. <laughs> oh, and of course, not just because it has to make it hard for us. Um, yeah, I know there's a building damaged. I've, I've seen. We need to resupply this real quick because at least we have like one mil in the bank, which we didn't have last time. So I think we can probably survive this. Oh, <laughs> clicking all over the place. This guy needs to go go down with the capture team. Because I think the tornado is coming his way. Yeah, there you go. Rip straight through. Okay. Velociraptors are down. The tornado is done for um, the Velociraptor area. So let's just fix these up. And we should be in a good spot for... Oh, for goodness sake, we're running out of fuel on this one as well. So much going on. Uh, we need this guy to repair um, oh, flipping egg. It, I hate the storms in this and what did I tell you it wasn't the Indominus but I knew we were going to get a tornado it just happens straight away I think there's like if there's that many tornadoes here don't build a park do you know what I'm saying it's just not worth it, it like there's been at least four Five tornadoes, I want to say. So that in this one playthrough, it's not worth it. Dead dinosaur. What the heck died. Oh my goodness. What? What? What's this that died? Dimorphodon. Are they? Why are they missing water? <laughs> what's happening? They're not lonely. They got seven. So it's just. This one's a goner, unfortunately. I think he was the last one. Oh, uh, let's get this sped up. Oh, for goodness sake, it's gone. I'm going to have to take um, Brachiosaur down as well. While this is... Oh, man, this is just constant. Okay. 
We want to repair this fence so that this Gigantosaurus can't get out. And then everything else can be repaired later. We've already lost 300 grand. Where are the guys over here? We're gonna have to bring these these uh, fellas in. It's, the, it's still going. I'm surprised the tornado doesn't kill um, dinosaurs. Uh, to be honest, because uh, it's hit dinosaurs before. I've seen it, but it's not killed them, which is nice because that would be really annoying if you've got like a load of dinosaurs. <laughs> just swept up. Like, that would have been all my Velociraptors gone, wouldn't it? Okay. Speed this up. I think it's going to go away. Yeah, okay. Pause. Right. No, let's not pause. Speed it up. Get these all fixed up. And then we can let people out. We're, we've already lost half a mil. Right, any dinosaurs out? No, we're good. So, let's close all shelters so we can start making more money. We're down to 112 grand. We're definitely losing money. Oh, for goodness sake. I think we're going to go bankrupt. I think we're going to go bankrupt. <laughs> we're on minus 367,000. What can you do? What can you do in that situation? There's nothing you can do. Like, what could I have done any differently? I'd love to know. I know we're out of cash, for goodness sake. People, start spending money like you've n like never spent before. I'm still on minus 300. And this is the thing, what do you do to make more money? Because, Asset to be collected. I mean, the only thing I could do, that I can think of right now, actually, I'm going to do it really quick. We're going to sell these. Until we start making money and we'll have to rebuild them later. Oh, damn it, I just lost the Mosasaur. Mmm, I hate this. <laughs> this game is so stupid. What are we missing? This needs to be repaired. 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 Um, so no one repairing that? Insufficient funds to repair. Oh, we're only on minus six thousand. I think we might have just clawed our way back in. Get the Brontosaurus alive. I think the, uh, the dinosaurs being tranked affects money as well. Oh my goodness, we've got money. Oh, we've got money. I didn't even look over here. Is he okay? <laughs> I didn't even think, like, what's going on over here. That's a bad sign, isn't it? It's probably the most important area to look and make sure no one's going crazy. Why can I not... I need... There you go. We just need to fix that up and then we're, we're good. Another dinosaur died. Oh, no, our plesiosaur died. Oh, that's really annoying. How much money are we going to have? 56,000? That's not too bad. Okay, we're back, but, and we definitely had to sell those two to get where we are now, but I will say that we now don't really have a plan going forward for making money, because we were going to have the extra Mosasaur, and that was basically going to be our end all. We need 500 grand, then a mil, and then two mil in order to get a Mosasaur again. So, basically, we can't at this point. We've only got 180 grand. There's, like, nothing we can do. Ah, oh, it's so frustrating. This game is out to get you. I know it's, like, I don't want to make it too easy, but at the same time, if you make it too hard and just hit you with something like that, it's, it's like an end game. Do you know what I mean? It's, like, that could have easily just, just crippled me, and i like, very lucky that it didn't. But it's just so annoying that you build up as much as you can and then you end up like having nothing left we're gonna put a response facility around here just because that he needs his own one i think i wouldn't be surprised if these guys are gonna die going in every time they go in 
they're going to be dead. Add a task. Go check. Add a task. Go check on him. There you go. Okay. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a pause in this game and we're going to come back when I've actually done something um, and we're able to make money. It's basically just going to be a... I'm going to pause it just in case something bad happens again. Um, but yeah, we're going to try and claw our way back up. How's our profit looking now? 100, 117 is good. Right, so we're making money. Got about 500. I need 500 to put down a thing to make the Mosasaur. Then I need a million to make the Mosasaur. Then I need 2 million to hatch the Mosasaur. So it's going to take time. But um, I think we can do it. So I'm going to come back. It's probably going to be a long time. But in this video it's just going to be a second. And we'll be back. And we'll be close to doing this. So uh, see you in a second. Okay so we are back. And what has been seconds for you. Has been hours for me. So, um, man, where did I, like, you know what, it's been so long, I can't even remember where I left off. So I'm just going to quickly run through the whole park, just so I've covered everything. So we got uh, the Plesiosaur that was in here, in here died, and we got the Ixiosaurs put in here. These are these little guys, quite cute, aren't they? A bit horrific, but cute at the same time. We got two Mosasaurs in here and in here. We've got a load of Velociraptors who have died, and then I've made some more so we've got velociraptors chilling in here can't even see them they're very um hidden here they are so these velociraptors are just chilling in here then we move over here we have a t-rex who is kind of mid-age so he's still got a while on him we've got t-rex chilling and around him somewhere are compies we've got about how many did we get in the end 11 compies all uh, chilling with a T-Rex because he gets on with them, they get on with him. So they are in there with him. And then over here, I put down a Gigantosaurus because the Brachiosaurus died. So he's chilling in here and people are watching him. Then we go around here. This hasn't changed. Uh, we've got Edmontosaurus and we've got um, Aptus, Aptus, Apatosaurus. Uh, in here, but we've got three of them in here now. I've made another two because one of them died, and I thought if we make two more, they'll they'll chill together. In here, we've got the biggest pain, uh, pterodons. They keep dying and then getting lonely because they don't have a very long um, life. They live to well. Oh damn, he's gonna die soon, and then they're gonna get lonely again because he's 84. What's this one? Eight. Okay, so we've got a couple who have just been made. I think. Do they need? Oh, they need three. So we're going to have to make another pterodon in a second because he's definitely going to die. So let's do that real quick. Um, there we go. So we'll, we'll start making that. Then round here, we have the Indominus Rex, who again, I think, might die soon because <laughs> he is hiding. Let's have a look on the map. Hiding right at the back here, but he is... 61, expect a lifespan, lifespan is 59, so he's nearly gone, and basically, we are so close to finishing this, to getting the five stars, um, and I just, I feel like it's going to happen soon, but if it doesn't, and one of our dinosaurs die, we're in trouble. <laughs> we also upgraded the paths to be as, as uh, wide as they can, the thoroughfare paths, because they kept complaining there's not enough room. We've got 100% on shelter and restrooms, and the amenities are as close as I can get. There's like these little areas where it's really awkward to get anything down, so it's just a bit annoying, but I don't think that would be enough. And to get to five stars, we need one million per minute, and we're at uh, 955,000. So we're on the cusp. So I'm going to speed this up. We nearly got three million. And we're going to see if we can get ourselves through this bit before any of our dinos kick the bucket. So I'm hoping we can. Oh, that's going to be that's going to be bad. That is going to be bad for sure. 
for our income and everything. Our appeal is still 120%, so it might not be as bad. We'll just have to see what dip in... Uh, yeah, we got a dip. Okay. Didn't quite work out as a, I thought I was going to basically start this video I and mean, it was going to be done. But it doesn't look like it is going to be. So we're going to have to make these guys to be safe. So they're going to have to get uh, chugging along. And we're going to have to spend some of our free mill on a new dinosaur. Basically an Indominus Rex. Oh, there's so much. There's so much money. It's going to take me so long to get them back up. And up, but I don't think we're getting back up to 900,000 without something else. I like the big, big ticket item. So we're going to go away again. And we're going to try and get back up to this five stars. And when we're back, we'll be able to, uh, we'll hopefully be able to, uh, I think, finish this Chaos Fury. I think this is the last mission for the Chaos Fury. It's just so difficult to get to that five stars. And even if we do now, we haven't got enough dinosaur species to make it count which is so annoying ah okay we'll be back in a second okay so we have the indominus back he is alive and well he's a newborn just prancing around trying to get himself all sorted in his new spot we had a couple of dinosaurs die on us but luckily the apatosaurus i planned for and it was a dimorphodon i think it's called so they are still happy I'm going to do a ballsy move now, because we are so close. I'm going to fire all of my staff. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to fire them all. That will up our... Um, uh, what's it called? Monthly or minutely income. And that should push us over exactly where we need to be I mean if we do need to we've got four and a half million we can rehire some let's hope that was enough to push us over and get us into the five star range because we are spending less which means our profit should be more but wait a minute it's not profit it's income isn't it <laughs> oh no that didn't that wouldn't have done anything oh I'm such an idiot so it's income, not profit, which means that losing all of that money from paying for our staff meant nothing. I mean, I don't know what else we can do. We're 100% across the board for our guest comfort. Our appeal is over 100%. We're 13,000 13, out of 9,000. Ticket sales are really good. Park desires, dinosaur... I don't know what that all means, but maybe that might be something to do with it. Amenities are really good as well. 98, 99, 98 coverage. Like, what else can I do to get us to the, to five stars? I think we just have to wait and hope that it's going to tick over and we're going to get more people in. I think that's the only thing we can do. We're absolutely bringing it in. The problem is... We're not quite bringing it in enough. And I don't know why. Could it be hotels, maybe? Let's just smash a load of hotels down. That gets more people in, apparently. So let's let's get, like, a hotel. I don't know where I'm going to put it. That's a problem. Here? Let's put one here. There you go. Who died? No, it's just a... Uh, hopefully that'll bring in more money. I don't know. I'm really kind of grasping at straws here. Okay, we're going to have to hire some scientists. Damn. Um, so we're going to have to make some... of... Uh, well, Edmontosauruses. There you go. Because they're getting lonely. So safe to say we're not going to run out of money anytime soon. That's quite nice. But um, still frustrating that we have to uh, 
have to still do this when we're basically done with this this stupid five star rating just isn't happening don't know why it's so hard to break i suppose the end game has to be difficult otherwise there's no challenge to the game but still frustrating we're making 262 profit now because we had to hire some scientists we've got 56 years and he's got 130 years on him what about this guy how long has he got left uh, 84 he's coming close to the end <laughs> Close to the end. Um, I'm just worried that we're gonna we're gonna have dinosaurs dying on us, which means that we then are not gonna move further and further away from five stars. So I'm just trying to figure out. So we've got this Dreadnoughtus. I think this will get him up to a viable genome, and then we'll be able to see about making him and putting him in here. Should be a big enough spot, hopefully. Um, the Edmundsauruses are all in and happy, so that that's kind of fixed that problem. I suppose what we could do is make another lagoon here and try and get another Mosasaur out. <laughs> but it just feels like really boring making yet another Mosasaur. But they've just got such high appeal that uh, they are kind of game-breaking almost. Um... I'm really not sure what to do though. I could make like a Mosasaur uh, lagoon here. Make the Dreadnoughtus, and there's just no way we wouldn't be making that much money. Uh, Dreadnoughtus, where are you? Okay. It's not looking great. I want to get rid of short lived because I don't want him to die too soon. Large appetite actually isn't terrible. A needy. It's just going to have one of these guys, so I don't think needy is a problem. So let's have a look. Yeah, we just need one of these guys, so that should be fine. Let's get to work on that Dreadnoughtus, and then while I'm also doing that, I am going to make... I am also going to make a... Lagoon. I think it needs to be five big for these guys. Ah, there you go. One, two, three, four. Terrain constraints. Are we going to make it like that? That seems really rubbish. Five. I mean, <laughs> it's not great, but it'll do. And then we need to add, oh, for goodness sake, tuberculosis. We can medicate for that. We've already sorted that out before, so... That's not the end of the world. Excuse me. Why are you not? There we go. Should be able to catch that before it spreads any further. Select an egg. Needy. And large appetite. We've got a needy dreadnoughtus. There you go. Ah, oh, you're joking. I'm going to have to do it this way and then rest up Buckley after we've made this one. We're getting there. We are getting there, for sure. We're still making a bunch of money. We're nearly up to five stars. We should be fine. Okay, so we have a bit of a disease outbreak going on at the moment, which is very annoying. Um, one of our flying dinos died, but other than that, I think we've got it under control. And we can finally release the Dreadnoughtus. So let's pop him in here, and then we'll see what he needs to be happy oh for goodness sake who's I swear these people these dinosaurs are a filthy bunch Assets in the air. medicate there we go we can't stop this stupid outbreak um, let's get Mosasaur made Oh, damn it, they're disgruntled. I'm going to have to rest them before I make the Mosasaur. This game is falling apart. Okay. We'll be back in a second when we can actually uh, make the Mosasaur for that one. But, Mr. Dreadnoughtus, he's a big old boy, isn't he? Um, we need... What do we need for you? We need... Tall fruit, forest, and tall fiber. 
So let's give him We need tool fibre, I think it said, didn't it? There we go, tool fibre. Let's put a load of tool fibre around this bit. And then uh, a little bit further up, actually. Then we need tool, tool fruit. Where's tool fruit? Ah, tool fruit, there you go. Let's put tool fruit around here. And then we need forest. Let's run the forest all around the back here. Let's see, how does that? Tool fibre, yes. Tool fruit, yes. Open space, not quite, but give him some time to explore. And forest, nowhere near. Okay, so we just have to wait and see how he's feeling about his little place to stay. Okay, so this is going to be a very cut up episode. So we're nearly there. We are on the cusp of five stars. Just not quite. So with, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to just keep working on it. And then we'll come back at the end of the video and it, for a couple of, in a couple of seconds for you to have the, the um, finish of this mission. It's just, I feel like it's a little bit broken because it really won't let you like finish this bit. It's like we are, we've got 100% on everything. We've got all the dinosaurs and the, the highest um, sort of appeal you can get. We've got hotels everywhere. We've got dinosaurs galore and it's still not working. This guy is not 100% happy, but he's okay. 77% comfort. He doesn't have enough forest, but he'll be, oh no, he'll be fine. <laughs> While I'm saying that, someone's just died. Um, Edmontosaurus, I think that was the last one of the first batch, but the rest of them are doing fine, so we should be okay. But yeah, so we're going to come back once I've made this, sec this third Mosasaur, and then we'll see if that's enough to push us over the profit margin that we need to get to five stars. So see you in a second. Oh my goodness, we finally did it, and it <laughs> finished on such a rubbish note, but we finally completed Jurassic World. Wow, so that was the final mission, we got up to 12 mil with 5 stars, and we got plenty of dinosaurs in there for sure. It was fun, I really enjoyed this one compared to the other ones, but just that last mission was really frustrating trying to get up to that 5 stars, but we're going to continue... No, we're not. We're going to go back. Oh, actually, this is probably a good point to pause it. Go through my park, and then we're next time we'll be starting the um, the last Chaos Fury. So basically, the end of this playthrough. Really, we'll be doing the last one, which is um, the uh, Forbidden Kingdom, Jurassic World Forbidden Kingdom. So let's just do a quick run through of the park. You start here with all of like the shops and stuff, and the science center. On this side you have the Edmontosaurus where you can drive the little gyrospheres around along with the uh, Gallimimus and the Apatosaurus. And then on the other side you have what formerly was the Triceratops and uh, Ankylosaurus area. It's actually the Gigantosaurus area now. So he's, he's having a nice time, huge space for him. Uh, and then we go down here, we've got the T-Rex here and the um, starving and <laughs> pneumonia-ridden uh, Dreadnoughtus. Let's say there's a reason he's so expensive. He's a real pain to look after. Um, so I'm glad we not we didn't make him uh, sooner because that would have been a real pain. Then in the middle here, we've got the Velociraptors. And then work our way around, we've got the Mosasaur here, the Ichthyosaurs here, another Mosasaur and another Mosasaur here to really like get that appeal. We want people to see the Mosasaurs. This is mainly Mosasaur Park, really. Then in here, we've got some flying uh, dinos, uh, pterodons, and uh, oh, I can never remember, it begins with a D. I want to say Dimorphodon every time. Yeah, Dimorphodon, there you go, Dimorphodon in there. And then we go around here to the big bad guy of the movie, the Indominus Rex, who's hiding somewhere in this forest, I think. Where are you? There he is. 
can't see him because he's hiding in the forest, but we got the second Indominus Rex. The first one died with very little happening. No, no breaking out and trying to kill everyone. So it was quite nice. But we finally made it to the end of Jurassic World, and we will be returning to see Jurassic World Forbidden Kingdom. And, or is it, wait, is Forbidden Kingdom the third one, actually? Let's, let's um, go back to our main menu and have a look, shall we? We've, we've finished that. We can write off Jurassic World Chaos Theory as complete. Okay, so 80% complete of the Chaos Furies. It's returned to Isla Nublar. It doesn't say if it's Forbidden Kingdom or not. So uh, the story will be returned to Isla Nublar, bleh, Nublar and the remnants of Jurassic World. Mount Sibo lay dormant. Blaze Dormant. Claire, help Claire and the DPG to give the dinosaurs their freedom. So I have a feeling actually this one might be quite short. And also, this space here. When the new movie comes out, I have a feeling this space might be filled in. I could be wrong though. But we'll just have to wait and see. So, thank you for watching. Sorry it was a bit of a weirder one this one. Uh, of me trying to figure out how to get that Jurassic World uh, finished. I just realised it literally says Fallen Kingdom right there. So I'm just being a, a blind idiot. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying this playthrough. I'm really enjoying the game. It's just a bit buggy in places, which is a bit frustrating when you're trying to complete a mission and there's like, seems like no way. But overall, I think it's really well done. Quite enjoyable game. And as you can see, quite a lot of content because I'm already, I'm still playing it. I'm not finished yet. And uh, we, I've been going for probably about 20 odd uh, videos. So that's not too shabby. Uh, and I'm still enjoying it, which is something to say. Hopefully you are too. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you're thinking in the comments. And I will see you when I see you.